Hey everyone, how we all doing on this not so gorgeous Sunday night? Huh? Well, well, why do I say that? Huh? Not so gorgeous. Well, you know, uh, gloomy, rainy Sunday. How about that? You know, uh, sort of makes me depressed. You know? Am I so dependent on the weather? Aren't we all, I guess? Well, because uh, here in the Northeast, where I'm from, where I live, weather gets extremely cold, starting, let's say now, you know, it's the last weekend, last Sunday in October, and uh, we are now towards the part of winter, right? So summer obviously is gone and fall is gone too, right? And uh, and I had my leftovers, right, for uh, uh, for dinner. And uh, <clears throat> I was running around today, actually, you know. My wife was on the phone, you know, she's in the mountains. And uh, and the problem, I think I told you, right, um, I was having, I had had been having, was the freaking mice. You know, this wasn't a problem in my in my apartment here, right? This one of the, well, this one <laughs> This was not a problem when I moved here around this time last year, 2022, right? So then what happened uh, this this, uh, this year, sir? I have no freaking idea. So I called the management downstairs and I actually, I had to stop trips and all that, right? And I caught three of them. Can you believe that? And there's this freaking tiny mice, right? But in any case, um, uh, so I called the manager downstairs and, you know, they gave me a number for best control company and, you know, I spoke with them. And uh, so they were telling me, some guy, he was really nice, he called me, he was like, you know, uh, we, 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 we look at all the holes in the, you know, beneath the sink and, and you know, uh, other possible locations where they may be coming in. And then we set up traps and sometimes, uh, you know, we set up like poison. I think that's what he said. And uh, obviously, you know, they charge, right? They charge, and then you can sign up for the yearly or or or, or just one time, right? One time. And I was, uh, I was talking to my wife, and I'm like, you know what? Let me try that first. Since I already caught three of them, right? So I have set up a, a, another trip, right? And I caught two of those in 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 in, 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 in that trip, right? And then the, without getting too like, you know, sentimental. Well, not sentimental. Um, you know, uh, uh, not to make this topic, and without getting any uh, uh, any really really any worked up. Well, I was, I get worked up, obviously, right? And so uh, I, you know, um, I, after I, oh, I'm losing a lot of eyes here, Jesus Christ. Um, sorry, I apologize. I, uh, I went back, I went to Home Depot, not went back, sir. I went to Home Depot. And got this, uh, what do you call the, uh, you know, the sealant, right? Uh, which is basically used to, you know, close our, 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 seal those holes, you know, underneath the sink. If you have like piping going through those freaking sheet rock, right? And if there are holes, because you need like a half an inch hole. You know, that's what they, that's what these freaking mice need. That's all they need, you know? So I did that underneath the sink here, and then in my, in my uh, the heating closet, the HVAC closet, right? 
there's a pipe, copper pipe that goes into the wall. And they will get there too. I close that as well. You know, use that cock, you know, like a spray. It's like a spray. And uh, let's see what happens, right? <clears throat> but you never know because the, the, the building is mice, then they're going to try to get into the apartment, right? Because obviously they're looking for, they're looking for food. All right. So in any case, um, so, uh, you know, that's what I was freaking dealing with. And uh, you guys see a change, huh? You like my hat? Huh? And, uh, uh, oh, what happened to the headphones, huh? So the headphones, <coughs> I'm not going to use them this time at least. You know, because uh, I was playing golf actually on, on, on Saturday, right? Which is, uh, when was that? Sorry, yesterday. And then I, I, I found these, 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 uh, you know, uh, ear pods, you know, Apple ear pods in, 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 in my golf bag. I'm like, holy shit. Cause I, I thought I had lost them. Then I realized I actually had them in that bag and I, you know, I forgot. Right. So, and there, you know, they work fine. They're perfect. So I connected them to the computer here and that's what I'm using. As long as you can hear me, right? I'm assuming you all are hearing me and, you know, listening to me, listening to my podcast. Um, and uh, so how is, uh, how is your uh, weekend going? Huh? Well, here I am, you know, I, uh, I was, uh, you know, obviously I was on the phone with my wife. And and then I was, oh, shit, you know what? I forgot to cook some potatoes. I have a one potato. I can see it you know, looking at me, you know, in, in, in you know, in the fridge. Not in the fridge, sir, in the, uh, on the island, right? And um, tomorrow morning, I'll try to get up early and, you know, make some potatoes and, you know, eggs, right? For breakfast, right? Because I can't start my day without the, uh, without eggs or some, you know, like breakfast and coffee right obviously so <clears throat> this week um is busy as always right i did i did send a couple of proposals out today so that was good right but when i got up it was uh, i got up late and then uh, and then I looked outside the window and it's like fucking raining and I'm like, wow, my God, maybe I should just go back to sleep, right? I didn't go back to sleep, but um, I uh, I went to Hoboken actually, you know, that bagel shop I uh, used to go to when I used to live on my north Street right, in my uh, old apartment. Um, and I went there and, uh, I got my, you know, my usual, you know, plant bagel, you know, toasted with egg whites, right? Some lettuce, tomatoes, and yeah. And, uh, and then right across from the bagel shop was Starbucks and I got like a medium sized coffee, right? And it was raining and I, uh, I, 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 I used to go down to the, you know, to the, to the, what is it? What is that drive called? Frank Sinatra Drive, right? And uh, and and uh, and uh, and uh, um, there's a restaurant down there, right, by the marina. It's got, I think, marina or something restaurant, right, right, right on Hudson River. And then there is a field there, right. And uh, and these ladies, these uh, young uh, teenage uh, ladies, were playing soccer, football, so in rain, you know. Uh, props to them, you know, yeah, that's brave, you know, I was just watching their game, you know, sitting in my car while uh, having my, uh, you know, my breakfast, um, and uh, and and so by the way, so this was, uh, so this, this weekend was the Halloween weekend, right? Halloween is on Tuesday, right? Uh, and 
and yesterday actually I saw a lot of people dressed up, right? A lot of people. Uh, obviously, you know, Saturday is when people celebrate, especially the young ones. You know, I mean, I I didn't dress up or anything like that. You know. And uh, and I was like, uh, this is the Halloween weekend, and um, what does that mean? Are they going to change the uh, the time now? I mean, they're going to move the clock forward or backward one hour, right? Is that is that tonight actually, or next uh, next Sunday? When is the so when is daylight saving? When is daylight saving ends? Oh, there you go. That's it. So, so daylight saving time ends. Uh, uh, November fifth. November fifth. Right, which is next Sunday, not this Sunday. So there you go. So November fifth is going to end uh, the daylight saving. They're like, they're, do I sound like fucking Yoda? You know, he puts, uh, you know, what is it called? Adjectives in front of the, uh, the, uh, the nouns or, or verbs. Is that, what, is that how he says? Uh, is that how he says, like, uh, in those Star Wars movies and then the fucking, you know, the shows, right? The way he, he, he speaks English. Remember Yoda? Uh, uh, off we go to Tatooine. And, uh, you know, face the enemy, we face uh, the umpire, we face, we must face from that side. Huh? Well, I can't do fucking Yoda's voice here, all right? I can't do anybody's voice, except my own. There you go. So, uh, so yeah, uh, daylight time, daylight, daylight, daylight time ends on Sunday, November fifth. Means that we're gonna lose one more hour, right? So that means that it's actually worse, especially if you want to play golf, you know, in the afternoon, because five o'clock then becomes like four o'clock, right? So, or, or, or four o'clock, some three o'clock, right? So that means that if you're gonna play, let's say last time I played was around like three o'clock, right? Then now you have to play at two o'clock, all right? So that how it, that's how the, the clock works here in the, in the United States, which, which, which sometimes I feel like doesn't make any fucking sense. Why do you have to change time? Like twice a year, why? What, 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 what do we gain? I understand for commerce and all that, we gain one hour. We gain one hour day life, daylight time, you know, uh, for summer, right? Because summer is basically, it's like where or when people in this country do a lot of things, including vacationing, right? Vacationing, because that's when the uh, the schools are off, right? between June and fucking September, right? And so you want to maximize your, you know, your, uh, what, vacation time, sir? No, you want to maximize your, uh, whatever time, you know, you're spending, right? In summer. And winter, nobody cares. Like, winter is like the, uh, the, 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 the stepchild, right? Winter is like the stepchild, and it's even worse, right? Especially here. Or are the foster faster? Is that what they say? Faster child of fucking weather, right? All right. Uh, without being too uh, cynical, but um, uh, you know, it's gonna it's gonna get darker. Three thirty is gonna get dark. By the time we get to like December fifteenth, right? And that's like right before the holidays and all that, right? And uh, even even up to Thanksgiving, which is the last, what is that, last Thursday of November, right? We're going to get, 
we're gonna get like darkness, darkness on this fucking planet, right? I mean, uh, the dark, uh, dark shadow and moon, no sir. Well, that well, uh, you know, uh, sun is going to basically go down like so so early in terms of the clock, right? And then the fucking nights are like going to be like 15 hours nights, right? 15 hours. I mean, we are north of equator, right? We are north of equator. That's why our nights get actually longer in winter, right? But think about like Canada, right? Canada or uh, even Scandinavia, right? Or let's say Russia. Oh, Scandinavia, my brother lives there, right? And I was thinking, you know, I was talking to him today, actually. And uh, now they actually, I think their days are probably like six hours, right? Six hours of like daylight time. And then the rest is like fucking darkness and cold and fucking snow and all that, right? Sounds very extremely depressing to me. Um I'm hoping that this year also we don't get a lot of snow because that's a fucking disaster, right? And uh, I'm just crossing my fingers for a mild winter because I had to be here. You know, I'm just waiting for my wife. And uh, and uh, am I going to, are we going to, hopefully, when she comes here, are we going to spend, like, those fucking cold days? I'm hoping maybe at least a week, two weeks down in Florida, right? Rent this place, put, on, uh, put it on Airbnb, right? put this apartment on Airbnb and then, you know, and then rent, uh, you know, a small apartment, like even a studio apartment down there, right? Somewhere, some, you know, somewhere like nicer in terms of weather, right? That would be nice if you can do that, right? Um, like February. February is like the worst, right? February is the worst. And, um, or maybe January. Although I might actually be going to Pakistan. I'm not sure. December uh during those holiday times right because because uh uh that's yeah that's when actually uh another time when people take time off right holidays because it's like okay so after thanksgiving right thanksgiving and then you have christmas here in this country, and then you got the New Year's, right? So that's like, that, that, that people take the whole, that whole week off, right? That whole freaking week off, uh, starting with like beginning Thanksgiving all the way to fucking like New Year's, right? New Year's 2024. But let's see, it's also a lot of, you know, money, you know, it's a lot of fucking like the, tra the, the, the tickets are not cheap. And, you know, the plan, um, the plan, I mean, the flight is, uh, you know, you know, from door to door, it's like 24 hours, you know, at least. Uh, but let's see what happens with my wife's case, because that's very important, you know, important. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm just, we are just, I'm just, and we are just, you know, playing by ear, because we can't do anything, you know. And we are on the mercy of the uh, of the immigration people at this point, you know. And obviously, I miss her and I love her. And uh, me being, you know, a, a guy who is not very patient, right? Patience, our patience. Um, let's not talk about that because that just makes me kind of like worked up, you know? All right. So, um, I was, uh, you know, looking up, uh, news actually yesterday, I think, um, uh, the, 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 I mean, I don't want to like talk about fucking celebrities here, but 
uh, that guy, remember that show, American show, TV show, Friends, which became so famous. I think it it, it became as famous as Seinfeld, right? Set in New York, right? Both of them, but Seinfeld came before and then Friends came after, right? But But I was never a big fan of Friends, to be honest with you. I actually, I actually like Seinfeld better, although I never really watched it. I mean, here and then I'll watch episodes, right, in some, like, seasons. But, I mean, I've been watching Burn, Burn Notice, Burn Notice. I've been watching that freaking show. It's an old freaking show, right? Burn Notice on Amazon, right, for free. So, you know, you can watch those shows, except the first season I bought and all the other seasons, you know, can watch all the old shows on Amazon, you can watch them free with ads, right? Because if I buy another season, my wife is going to, like, shoot me, all right? Now, but, uh, I, I mean, I kind of like that show. It's different, you know, without any spoiler alerts. What are the what are the movies that are coming out? Jesus Christ, I didn't even talk about the freaking movies. But in any case, so uh, without jumping from one topic to the other, so let's just stick to the topic. So, uh, so friends, remember? So, uh, I never really watched that show. My sister, you know, when she came from New York, that's what she was watching, I think. And uh, and uh, so one of the lead actors, Matthew, right, Matthew Perry, he died. Very young. He's like, he, yeah, he died like very young, you know, yesterday, I think. And I'm thinking, you know, well, first of all, let's not talk about the fucking celebrity, but I'm just, all I'm saying is that some of these celebrities, you know, they have, uh, they have, they carry a lot of like baggage, you know, like childhood, whatever trauma or, and, you know, instability, you know, and I mean, I never had any of that, but I, I still feel like, you know, because my father, I feel like he wasn't there, you know, I mean, he was there, but we were not talking, you know, we are on good terms now, but. But that can, you know, like separation when you are young and, you know, that can actually lead to like, you know, like if, if you, you know, in, in later life, right? I think that's what happened with him, that guy met you, right? And uh, and then he got into addictions and, and this and that, and, you know, and then painkillers, you know, prescription drugs, and that kind of a fucking like, oh my fucking God, you know, and... and, and 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 I think I mentioned that, and many of you, I'm pretty sure, know um, prescription painkiller drug problem in America has been, still to this day, has been the biggest, one of the biggest killers. Uh, and addictions. Oh, your doctor prescribed something for pain, and then apparently you take it for two months, and then you get addicted to it. How sad is that, right? I'm not judging people, all right? I'm not judging people. But it had been a problem, and people understood that. Beginning, actually, in 2015, I remember that the, the opioid deaths in America actually surpassed, surpassed deaths due to car accidents in America. Can you believe that? In 2015, all right? So, yeah, that is still a fucking problem, all right? That's still a fucking problem. And uh, and uh, this guy, he just couldn't do it. He had money, he had fame, he had looks and everything, right? Just imagine, like, if this guy, uh, if he couldn't do it, I mean, who am I? Or who, who, who is anybody else? I'm not saying that I was ever addicted to, like, prescription pills or, or I never took. I mean, I, 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 I actually, I broke my collarbone once, right? Collarbone and, like, and maybe one or two ribs because I, I fell off a bike, right? This is like 2000, I think 2014. I'm 15, it's 2015, right? And I remember uh, going to the doctor, right? I remember going to the doctor and, uh, and um, I mean, without going to the fucking past, but, uh, uh, you know, I couldn't, I, mean, I was like, I was actually living with a roommate at that point, you know, in Greenpoint, you know, in Brooklyn at that uh, at that time, right? 2014, yes. 
and uh, and then my friends at that time, you know, I was next morning, and you know, next morning, my my uh, I was I was texting my friends at that time, and they were like one of them. He was like, "Hey man, can you see if you can do a windmill? Can you do like a windmill uh, with your hand?" You know, while you are, you know, bed stricken with that bone, you know, because I could feel that there was something wrong with the collarbone, right? But I, I, I knew that it, it, it had fractured, right, somehow. So that's what he said. Listen, if you can do a windmill, then you're fine. Don't go to the fucking hospital, right? And I just tried to, like, lift up my fucking hand, right? And I could it, it was so fucking painful, right? And, uh... And so I went to the hospital and, uh, and you know, they, they did the x-ray and they, they, so they told me, like, uh, you know what, uh, you broke like two ribs and, you know, one collarbone. <laughs> well, collarbone is one, sir, on either side, right? And, uh, and the doctor, she was, uh, you know, a very nice, like Asian, Asian doctor. I mean, you know, and she was like, hey, man, you just go home. We're going to give you a sling and you can go home. Like, ah, what? Are you kidding me? I have like I have a broken collar bone and two ribs, and you are you are sending me home. What am I supposed to do? Like, yeah, no, it's gonna heal. It's gonna heal, and the ribs are also gonna heal by themselves. So uh, we're gonna give you some like pain medication just in case, just in case you have some pain, and and then you know, and then I went home, and obviously you know, a few days, first few days was pain, and I took. I took those medicines maybe one day, two days, right? And then I looked up to see what the fuck those were, right? And those were like the fucking, one of those like painkillers, right? Not paracetamol, right? Paracetamol, which is Tylenol, all that, those are not addictive, right? But this was, this was one of those addictive ones. I'm like, fuck this. And I threw them into the fucking garbage. And I just took the pain, you know? I'm not trying to sound like a hero here, all right? But my pain was bearable, all right? And then, you know, I was drinking beers and all that. That helps, right, at that time. So uh, I just, uh, you know, I just, uh, uh, I, I got rid of them, you know? And just imagine that you have a bigger problem bigger injury right in your body and the pain is just so much right and the pain is just so much that you can't bear it i think but now you know now i think cbd cbd is one of the big ones right cbd i think is making a breakthrough and you know cbd is basically another like you know what do you call another uh uh, a strain, right? Strain in the hemp plant. Well, 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 one is the marijuana, right? Which makes you high, right? But the CBD is the one that actually obviously doesn't make you high, but it's good for your body, all right? And I think that's, that's, that is making a breakthrough, although not in fucking, um, like in in the uh, in the drug business or pharmaceuticals, because they still use the fucking chemicals, right? Those chemical like fucking oxycodone and whatever the fuck it is, right? For pain for pain management, right? And uh, <clears throat> and uh, and this country still has that fucking problem to this day, you know. Uh, Oh, you know, you go to your fucking doctor and say, listen, uh, doc, I'm just having this pain in my whatever, in my, you know, my other body. Can you give me some fucking medicine? You know, give me something, man. Give me something, lady. And then, oh, they'll give you, they'll give you, oh, doctors here. Oh, they'll give you, they'll give you a whole plethora of fucking like painkillers if you want. Although they shouldn't, right? Especially the ones that are addictive, addictive, are addictive, right? Like the oxycodone, calco, what, what, what is this? I don't even fucking know the name, all right? But I'm just saying because I was just reading up yesterday, I was just like, you know, um, uh, 
uh, online, you know, I was just uh, looking at the news and then I came across. And then there was fucking SNL yesterday, I think somewhere, right? Because it started a night live, right? And I fucking hate that show. But anyway, Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters were on SNL. Foo Fighters is a band, American band, right? And uh, rock band. And, uh, and so I think people were also watching they wanted to watch like Foo Fighters right and then and then in the mix was the news of that guy Matthew Perry's death right and I was looking him up to see who why did he die at the age of 54 right again without I'm sorry I don't want to fucking talk about celebrities I mean half of the celebrities didn't they fucking die more of the same fucking situation right Robin Williams you name it and blah 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 what's the name the other guy doesn't mean okay. Listen, I'm not judging them, but what I'm saying is that this, yeah, this is a problem. But I think he, I think he had problems even before, before he started taking the, uh, you know, the oxycodone, oxycodone, codeine, whatever the fuck it is called, right? I think he had problems even before that, and uh, and you know, yeah, these things are not easy, man. You know, I, again, you know, I'm just having these fucking coronas. And at some point in time, I'm just going to get the fuck rid of these, to be honest with you. You know, are are just like limit these to like minimal, you know. Because after a certain age, it's not worth it. It's not fucking worth it, you know. Oh, yeah. Which choir are you preaching to, sir? Unfortunately, unfortunately, you know, alcohol uh, has been in the Western culture, you know, and uh, it still, it still, it still is. Uh, and who said that? Uh, somebody said that, I think Joe Rogan had a guest on or somebody uh, who actually specializes in like, you know, like well-being and, you know, uh, was he like a psychiatrist? Well, who's that? Who was that? Uh, was that Jordan Peterson? One of those guys, right? If us human beings hadn't uh, discovered alcohol, right? I mean, alcohol has been in human culture for a long fucking time, you know? Am I going to turn my podcast into like like the... the, the 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 uh, you know the the bad and goods and the uglies about alcohol. No, no, I'm not. You know, I'm not. I'm 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 not a, a, an expert. I, I'm 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 in no way an expert. I have had my problems with this, and uh, especially through COVID and even before that. You know, I was just fucking like depressed and you know with my immigration issues and all that, right? And and and, and the biggest. I think I said this last time many times. Loneliness, people who are alone, and then something like fucking COVID happens on a fucking planetary scale, right? And uh, and uh, you know you got to you got to, I mean we got to be a little more like fucking you know uh, what do you call uh, strong? You know that's what it is. The problem is that the society. The culture has made us kind of like fucking weak, I would say, you know. Although, well, don't blame the fucking culture and the society, sir. Well, uh, it's just a whole, it's just a whole fucking setup, and, and you know, and, and and I'm not saying that you know America or Western culture or Western society has all these fucking problems. Uh, all the other countries have other problems, you know. Uh, in any case, so uh, you know, just just to just to like reiterate my point that alcohol is a you know is an Arabic term, right? Tabru Arabic, whatever you know, one of those Ara- Aramic languages from the Middle East, right? And what's happening with the Middle East, by the way, as we speak? Uh, I'm hoping that things are, uh, you know, things are okay. I'm not sure because I haven't, I don't want to like, I don't want to talk about the fucking news. But, uh, so, so humans obviously discovered alcohol, right? Um, and, um, 
and uh, in 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 the amounts that are uh conducible right conducible is that even a fucking word conducible i think that's a word right I, I, in any case so what well, you get my point right the point i'm trying to make is that the reason why okay without getting too much in take into the fucking history of civilization right human civilization although i think i should say something why like for example why uh alcohol has been prevalent or has been the drug of choice, right? In the Western culture, Western society. Uh, from the discovery of alcohol, right? From probably from mead, you know, mead and you know, when, uh, when you have fruits, right? Fruits, when they ferment, obviously, right? Sugar turns into ethanol, right? Ethanol, which is the, uh, which is the uh, which is the alcohol that 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 that's in drinks, right? In wine and in in spirits and in beer, right? Like this, Corona is like five percent, right? Uh, but that those like I'm 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 just telling you how they how these fucking human beings discovered alcohol is is obviously you know they were storing you know fruits. And, and and you know sweet fruits especially and probably the honey as well um for because honey i think honey is also a preservative somehow right and and then you know that turns uh that turns with time into uh through fermentation into uh into uh ethanol right and then somebody you know some person actually you know he tasted it right and it's like, holy shit, this is good. I feel good, right? I feel good, you know? It's good, yes, you feel good. But the problem is that you, when you get to these fucking spirits, right, which has, which have like fucking 40%, whatever the fuck it is. I'm not, again, I'm not judging, I'm not saying that people shouldn't, but what I'm saying is that this this thing is not, this thing is not good either at that, at that, at that level, right? But in any case, so sticking with the history, so that's when it was discovered with the advent of civilization, right? In the Middle East, Turkey, those areas, right? And those areas are absolutely like uh, perfect areas in terms of weather and all that for wine and, you know, wine and, you know, like, you know, grapes and all that, right? And that's that probably when it all started, right? And that's, and hence the term alcohol, alcohol, right? Just like alchemy, right? So it's a Middle Eastern, it's, it's, it's an Arabic term. But in any case, so, so, so why, why is it prevalent to this day, right? Even though, you know, it has a lot of problems, uh, you name it, right? And uh, sometimes I feel like, yeah, maybe, man, you are just getting, you know, you are getting old and is it worth this fucking, you know, uh maybe you should just stick to one or two and that's what i'm gonna do i think eventually that's what i've been trying to do you know i'm not saying that i'm an angel and i'm you know i i do that all the time sometimes when you when you are up with a friend or so you know then you're talking about things but in any case so without like bashing the whole fucking planetary uh, you know culture and all that but uh it has been with the western especially with the western culture and also everywhere i think it's everywhere you know in japan you name it you know even in our own culture we we our forefathers were winemakers you know and um and then the british came and then you know they they brought with them the distillation right and hence the moonshine right but uh it has been with us it has been with us obviously of its two main characteristics it's what they call the social lubricant it means 
the social lubricant where actually makes you feel at ease, right? Unless you are fucking hammered, that's a different story, right? Feel at ease in a social setting where, you know, a restaurant or whatever, in a family event or whatever, right? And uh, you become social uh, when you otherwise won't. So you talk to people, you know, uh, if you can handle it, right? And then the other thing alcohol does through chemical, you know, uh, what do you call uh, uh, interactions with the brain, it basically kind of calms down the nerves, all right? It calms down the nerves that otherwise won't calm down, and then your neurons will be firing all the time, right? If the neurons are firing all the time, that means that you are... You're just thinking about things in your fucking mind and you can't get rid of those thoughts. I mean, I'm not talking about like even like going to the past or whatever the fuck it is, right? But it can be anything, right? You can be worried about like fucking, oh, what am I going to do tomorrow? I mean, I had to get up at like fucking nine o'clock. I, I had to pay these fucking bills. Where's the fucking money? And this and that and all those, right? All those fucking racing thoughts in your mind. All those thoughts, right? are because of our neurons firing all the time, right? So what alcohol does is through GABA receptors. GABA receptors where alcohol, ethanol binds to in our brain, right? And then that actually basically calms the, that calms down the, uh, the whole central nervous system, calms it down, right? And that's when you feel at ease. So these are the two main characteristics, all right? That's why we have this. It's a social lubricant and it calms you down, all right? Until it gets to a point, you become addicted to it. Means then it becomes, it, 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 it can be a problem, it becomes a problem, right? But in any case, without like sounding like a fucking doctor who specializes in this, which I don't, um, these are the two reasons why alcohol has been in our culture. Not, I mean, now, I mean, if you, if you, for example, if you talk about, uh, if you talk about like America, right. And I was actually listening to Joe Rogan's podcast. He had uh, a great guest, Graham Hancock, Graham Hancock, right. He's a British, uh, uh, historian, right. I think. Yeah. So they were talking about, you know, how, now, you know, decriminalization of marijuana and legalization of marijuana, I think in many states, uh, I don't smoke weed, I don't smoke marijuana, but I think marijuana is like a medicine, you know, you know, but, but, but we have to be careful because especially at young age, people, you know, who smoke weed, you know, the, the, it just becomes, I think it, it actually, it actually affects the brain. I think everyone who is young up until the age of 25, you know? Because uh, that's the age when actually human brain develops, physical, right? Neurons, that's like the cutoff age, right? Uh, up until especially, in, and uh, up until, and then especially in your teen years, if you've been smoking a lot of fucking weed, or if you have been fucking drinking, that actually affects your fucking brain, all right? So that's why we have we have the age at 21 and 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 and, and yes that's what it should be all right uh, i'm not saying that people uh, you know these kids these days they don't drink uh, before they're 20 i'm not saying that but what i'm saying is that is that uh what the fuck am i talking about i went from one topic to the other all right so uh what i'm saying is that that's the reason why alcohol has been with us it's a social lubricant and it kind of like calms your fucking arms down, right? All right. Um, so, um, what's the, uh, what's the other thing I want to talk about? Well, I'm just talking about, you know, just, just, I mean, this is life, you know, this is life. And I, and I, <clears throat> I would say that, you know, um, 
if people, if, if we can just focus on like, if you can focus on things that actually makes us happier, right, in life, uh, and less lonelier, lonelier in life, right, then I think we don't need any, really anything, to be honest with you. Uh, now, if you're young in a place like New York or whatever, right? Uh, Western world or whatever it is, right? Then you, obviously you're looking for, you know, and it's, especially if you're single. And uh, and then uh, then this alcohol becomes the real social lubricant, right? And then it becomes like a a, a, a sort of a, a a tool. So this is what I wanted to say. So 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 you know we got to use this as a tool, especially the young ones, all you out there. You just use it as a tool to achieve what you want to achieve. I'm not saying that you use you you become dependent on it, and you know you start talking to women. <laughs> the woman, because you can't talk to them otherwise if you're not drunk. I'm not saying that, but it just it just gives you this ability. However, I'm not promoting. Uh, or, 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 I'm I'm kind of like you know I'm not promoting you know alcohol. Or I'm not promoting anything. I am like neutral, you know. I'm neutral, uh, and. Uh, and um, are we going to actually come up with something, right? Are we going to come up with some other fucking drug? Okay, so this is why this is what I wanted to say, right? About alcohol. Okay, so so they were talking about Graham Hancock, and these guys were talking about how you know how marijuana now is legal, and which is good. You know why not? Marijuana is a medicine. Medicine. Although if you smoke it, it's going to make you fucking paranoid and all that, right? But without any passing any judgments, um, if we were to discover alcohol now, right, would we be actually introducing it into the human culture? I don't think so. I think it would be a schedule, whatever track, right? Although I'm not saying that it should be, but I think. If it was if it wasn't part of the human culture for a long time and now well somebody discovered, you know, this thing, right? You know, fermented fermented like wine juice, right? Or whatever it is, and then I don't think this would have been an easy thing to be introduced into the human culture in twenty first century. All right, because it's, it's get, then we will look at the fucking statistics. Oh, what it does. Oh, what are the benefits? What are the what are the problems? Right, and then the pro if the problems we see problems more, then then yeah, no, 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 we can't do this, right? But in any case, uh, I'm neutral. Uh, but I guess I had to say something about this, right? And I think the best thing, to be honest with you, is to just not do anything. Even like, even for example, I drink coffee, right? Coffee kind of sometimes I feel like makes me kind of jitter, like not jittery, but I feel like after like an hour, two hour into like having coffee, right? Because coffee is obviously obviously the stimulant, right? It's a brain stimulant, stimulant. It's like a mild fucking cocaine, right? Whatever the fuck it is, right? And uh, and uh and i i think like you don't do anything like um and that's the best you know um our 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 the best is to just basically just moderation i think moderation of everything is which choir again are you preaching this to sir i mean us we are from fucking mountains and uh, you know and if I'm talking to these guys, my, my old friends or my cousins in mountains, you know, they will look at me and like, oh, are you fucking out of your fucking mind? Because we don't, you know, we don't have any bars. We don't have any fucking, you know, liquor stores or anything like that. But, uh, you know, we get this thing. We get this. We get this once in like a month. We do this. And, you know, you want us to like fucking be moderate, right? Um, 
Yeah, you know, it just, just that life, life and, and us, I think, after a certain age, right? Our, our, our priorities have to become different, you know, priorities of life become different and one of them would be for example okay yeah man so what is it that uh what is it that you want to achieve you know in the next however many years of life you have left on this fucking planet right and obviously everybody has goals right everybody wants to have their kids successful everybody wants to have uh you know, uh, a secure financial life for themselves, for their loved ones, and all that, right? And 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 in in the midst of all this, we gotta find some happiness. You know? We gotta find happiness in our lives. I think that's where it is. You know, because if 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 we don't have some happiness in our lives, I'm not okay. I'm not. I'm not uh, I'm not overrating happiness here, okay? Because for for some of us, happiness is it's as it's it it can be it can be as 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 little as like you know just uh, enjoying time, you know, enjoying time in life. What the fuck am I talking about? Because am I sounding like a fucking hollow person without any basis of what the fuck I'm talking about? Well, no, not really. But what I'm saying is that. The things that you 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 find in life that actually make you happy, right? And um, what are those things, right? I mean, yeah, a laugh with a friend. I think that's but that's that's a good one. Uh, if you have problems in life that you have to deal with, right? Whatever it is, then that's a different story, right? I mean, my, what is my fucking problem that I have to deal with? I'm just waiting for my wife and you know uh, yeah you know work has been work has been there work is always there never fucking ends money you know yeah you had a hustle for money in a place like new york you know especially if you're running your own company and uh and so and so you you know you got you got to live your life you gotta live your life to, to, to you know, with some hap- degree of happiness, you know. And um, life is not, you know, life is not perfect. Life is not perfect. Nobody is perfect. Am I sounding so fucking superficial? I don't know. What I'm trying to say is, towards the end of my podcast, without sounding gloomy and all that, right? All I'm saying is that life, life is full of fucking problems, all right? So you have, you have to you have to look at life like that. And also life is full of surprises. It can also bring happiness, right? And all those things. And that's fucking life, all right? That's fucking life. Now, if you are dealing with some problems in your, in your life as you speak, right? Then obviously you gotta you gotta you gotta focus on those, right? You gotta focus on like whatever problems you are dealing with in life, and and uh, and uh, best of my wishes, best and best of best of luck to you. Uh, it could be, you know, it could be, it could be anything. It could be a relationship. It could be that you lost a job. Are you looking for a better opportunity in career? Or if you're young, you go to school, then you are looking for some better school and you are looking for like, I don't know, you're looking for, you have, you know, you have a lot of inspiration. <coughs> Excuse me. You have a lot of inspirations our aspirations as well and you're looking for you're looking for wings so you can fly right um and so 
all these things are part of life. You know, joy, sadness, sometimes pain, you know. And uh, out of all this, you know, uh, people, you know, people, some, some people are strong, you know, they, they, they come out uh, if they are going through some shit in their lives, right? They come out strong. Uh, others are not so fortunate for whatever reason, right? And sometimes I feel like I'm strong, but I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not because, uh, I guess because, you know, I have just like relied on myself. I mean, who else or who, who, I, who could I relied on, sir? These fucking chairs are fucking, what these fucking walls, right? But in any case, uh, uh, but, you know, now, um, Again, you know, like if if you ask me what my what are my problems, my problem is yeah, I, I I have a lot of government debt that I have to basically pay back, right? Which I'm doing every month. And um and then, you know, um uh, and then my wife's case, obviously that's 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 also a priority for us, both of us now, right? And, um, and then I, and then that's it. I don't have any other like fucking problems in my life, really, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, now I feel more lonely than before. And the reason obviously is, you know, after spending time with my wife and I'm like, yeah, they shouldn't, shouldn't we be together, you know? And uh, that's what's just like fucking, you know, sort of, I feel like taking uh, sort of not, not like, not, not, I, mean, not, I mean, I feel it, you know, I feel it more now than ever, right? Because before uh, that, uh, I was just, you know, I was just like, uh, I had basically made up my mind, you know. Uh, but we got to be patient, you know, we need a lot of patience. I need a lot of patience. I think that's what it is. And so, um, what is, what was this? My moment of silence, moment of silence. Okay. So I was thinking about, you know, I was thinking, I just, some thought occurred in my fucking mind and uh and uh you know here I am I'm talking about all these like life you know uh issues things that we all have to deal with in life right and and I just feel like I'm so fucking, so much wrapped up in this fucking jazz of life, you know. So what do you do? So you go to a fucking concert and just like uh, not think about, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Like, you know, I don't know. Sometimes I think we also need to take, we need to take a break from like, day to day, you know, like fucking thinking and like, you know, even like, even what I'm talking about now is like, yeah, it's, you know, it's about like, yeah, this is, this is what happens to everybody, man, every person, you know, every person, you know, deals, has to deal with issues and, and, and their happinesses and joys and sadness and, you know, sorrows and all that, right? Because eventually we all fucking die and, uh, and that's what it is because we don't know, we don't know a lot of things about this fucking life, right? Are, are even this fucking universe? What is it? You know, where have we come from? Yeah, we were born here, and I talk about this all the time. At the beginning of beginning of you know biological life on this planet, and blah blah blah, and all that. But then, what, 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 what is this whole thing? What the fuck is this whole fucking experience of living? You know, what does it even mean? I think. If you take a psychedelic, then it tells you, oh, holy shit, you know what? Uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 I think it's, 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 life is more than this, you know? Without actually getting into that discussion, um, I think I should just uh, close my podcast. I assume, 
I presume you all had a great like Halloween weekend and uh see you all next week. <laughs>